Hey everybody, welcome back to another taste testing video. I'm back at the safe house with John. We just released a video at Trader Joe's, so I have a few products from Trader Joe's that I've never tried before. Well, maybe a few of them I kind of got into, <laughs> but the majority of them we haven't tried before. So we're just gonna taste test them today for you guys and tell you what we think. I'm into it. All right, let's do it. All right. So I have a bag, not full. It's not very full at all. And we have some Trader Joe's things. So we have the mandarin orange morsels. It's probably close to like the Gardein ones, I'm thinking. Oh, air fryer? Yeah, we'll put these in the air fryer. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool, The cool. Chefman. Everybody's been telling me to try this. It's the soy chorizo. Have you had that before? No, not the Trader Joe's kind, no. Trader Joe's, it says vegan right there on it. Everybody's saying how good this is. I'm wondering, I remember I used to get uh, a soy chorizo at Price Chopper way back in the day. That's what I was thinking. And it's probably the same thing. So I probably have had this before. Yeah. But we're gonna we're gonna make it anyway. Um. Cool. We also have some of these Trader Joe high protein veggie burger that I saw. These were these were pretty new. I haven't had these before. It's pea protein. It says vegan right on it. It's it's a pea protein blend with uh, canola oil, onions, brown rice flour some spices. Yeah. We also have a can of dolmas. These are like uh, grape leaves. Ooh. Look at that, vegan right on it. Yummy. I didn't get these the first time I saw them and then everybody's like, oh yeah, these are good. And I'm like, why didn't I get them? So I went back, I picked up a can. You just open it right up, perfect for the zombie apocalypse. We're gonna eat those. Now, I may have opened these already. <laughs> these are the, the brownie crisps. I wonder how really, really good they are. <laughs> I guess I'll find uh, out. They're, they're gluten free, and we'll we'll try those. The box is already open, but it's just uh, it's one of those chocolate bars that come in. I'll I'll link a picture of the box that because uh, some of the chocolate's not vegan. I contacted the company, and it does have like sugar that was processed through bone char. If you guys are worried about that, I I stay away from it. Mm -hmm. But this chocolate right here was beet sugar, 100% vegan. And then the last thing, I already know what this tastes like, but I figured let's bring it the everything but the bagel seasoning. This is like, everybody should have this. It's so good. You don't just put it on a bagel. I put it on a pizza crust. I put it on a hot pretzel. I put it on my avocado. Ooh. I put it on, like I make a bowl of rice or quinoa, throw it on there. So I'm thinking maybe we can put some of this, I don't know, maybe on the burger or something or maybe the chicken. But anyway, everything but the bagel. And that's all we really have for this taste testing video. We don't want to make it incredibly long and we have to cook some of the things here. So air fryer, probably, probably air fryer, all three of them. This one too? Or on the stovetop. I don't know. Yeah, let's do the stovetop. Stovetop, okay. Air fryer, stovetop, and then we'll come back to you guys and we'll try it out. Okay, so we got the chefman going on here. We put it all the way at the, I always have it at the highest. At the highest one? Yeah, yeah. and then I just like adjust how long they're in there for. If we can put all of them in there, maybe, maybe. I mean, yeah, might as well, because we got the- Oh packet. my god, what oh. happened? You cook this in there too? The Willy Wonka packet. <laughs> I got a golden sauce. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. So the sauce is obviously an orange mandarin, or a mandarin orange. We're gonna put one of these high protein burgers in there. You wanna be cheap? Well, I can't use that. But... <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Uh, how many minutes? Uh, let's, let's go for 10 there, 12. It smells really good in here. It smells delicious in here. Okay, like magic, everything is cooked now and well prepared. We got the, the chicken nuggets and they are in the, the mandarin, orange mandarin sauce. Mm -hmm. it smells really good. Ooh. Very, very pleasant. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and try one. They are very small and I think 26 are in a pack or something like that. So each person gets like 13 or something like that. I gotta say, I love how the air fryer cooks mm. them. Not bad. It's oh like, yeah. They taste like the Gardein ones. Yeah. They taste like the Gardein ones and they just bring you back to like when you were a kid. You got chicken nuggets, you know? They really recreate that, that bite. I don't think I ever had orange mandarin when I was a kid though. When no, I was, not the flavor, but like the, the texture of this of the nug. Right. Who was the president when you were born? I think it was Madison or Monroe when I was George born. W. It was Washington? A, it was a, it was a, okay. I thought so. The next is we're gonna try this uh, soy chorizo. It's got a good smell. It's 
got a heat, got a kick to it. It's which got is, a little bit of quick kick. Which is good. I like it. Chorizo. It's a little bit, a little bit of salty, but good. I think this would be great in like with some veggies or something, or in a taco, or like with red beans and rice burrito. Yeah, it, 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 I can feel it now. It's it's spicy, but neither one of us are like really can do spicy yeah, that well. No. And and this is fine. This is probably I wouldn't want it to be any hotter than this, but. Mmm. Yeah, that's, that's good. I don't think I've had this. I don't think this was the same as the stuff that I ate a long time ago from. I can't even remember because it was so long ago. Mmm. Over good, 10 years good ago. Good texture, too, you know? Yeah. So far, I'm going to give it a two for two. Uh, I like both of them so far. Now, the burger, I, I, I think we're going to try it a little bit with nothing on it, and then we'll try it with like some ketchup or just mayo. So let's uh, let's cut this in half. It's almost like crunchy on the outside, crispy on the outside, and kind of like mushy or not not really mushy, but like soft in the middle. It it, it reminds you of like a like a homemade mm -hmm. like grain bean burger, you know. I can't really describe it. It's it's definitely not bad. It's not the best burger I've ever had. It's not like. A Beyond Burger or anything like that. It's like a veggie bean burger, like a black bean burger, but it's it's all pea protein. And I think if you put this in like a bun with some condiments and everything, with some vegan cheese, it'll be pretty good. Not to say that this is bad or anything, but. No, I, I, I actually really like the flavor. Mm -hmm. It's not, like you said, it doesn't really, it doesn't stand out. It's right, not right. A, but if you want to stay away from like the highly processed you know, seitan kind of based burgers or gluten. Is there, um, there's probably no gluten in this? Well, I'll tell you this. It only comes with two in a package. I forget the price. I think it was $3.49, but you can go double check my other video, Trader Joe's. It doesn't say anything about gluten free. Okay. So, I don't know. Not bad. Um, I think, I would say for $3.49, you could probably get other burgers, get four in a pack that taste just as good or better. Not to say these are bad, but. I don't know if I would get them again. My own personal preference, I, I I do like a little bit more solid veggie burger. You know, this just kind of yeah falls apart. But it's um it's uh, the flavor. It's a decent flavor. It's a it's good. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the dolmas. These are grape stuffed grape leaves with I'm I'm believing I think rice. Yeah. Yep, rice. So, and look at that, you just open it up, seal it up, and it's good until, when is it good until? 2042? Oh no, 2019. So it's good for about a year. 10 of these are in here. We're tricky, throwing all them in there. <laughs> Let's see, grab one of these. So that's what they look like. And let me just show you what the inside. Just rice. That's it. And grape leaf. They're good. Yeah. It's got like a, is that like an oil vinegar flavor? Or like an oil, some kind of oil flavor in that they're, that they're packed in. And then there's a spice in it. What is it? That's what I'm trying to, I'm, I almost wonder if it's the, the um, grape leaf. It could be. Almost tastes a little bit, does it taste like, like fennel to you or oh, There's dill and spearmint dill. in here. Dill. Yeah. What a, that's such a cool, interesting flavor. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have one more. That's so how good it is. So they're good if you wanna yeah. pick one of these up and have them for like hors d'oeuvres or something. There you go. Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's, you've done it again. <laughs> Trader Joe's, you've outdone yourself. <laughs> now we move on to dessert. Dessert. Dessert rum. How about some brownie crisps? I'm into it. They're gluten free too. Woo! All right, these are the ones that I may have already gotten into. And, and light, but we're gonna have to find out if, if I really like them or not. So they come in these little thin brownie crisp with like chocolate chips in them. It says vegan right on the package and they're gluten free, so. Chocolatey and delicious. I could probably eat a whole bag <laughs> and regret it. Mm, it's crunchy. It is, isn't yeah. it? It's, and it's not bland, it's got the perfect amount of chocolate. Did you ever eat chocolate Teddy Grahams when you were a kid? Yeah, they had vegan ones. This is what it reminds me of. It does, you know, now that you say it, it now, does. Now, hear me out. With some chocolate chips in it. Hear me out. I'm hearing them. 
we take a dandies. Ooh, we're gonna make s'mores. Yep, yep, and we s'more it with this. With some with chocolate. These. This would be, cause you know what? You know what's awful? Finding a really good vegan graham cracker that's not jammed with like hydrogenated oils and, you know, graham cracker Mike usually. But you he know, makes them. you know how I was doing s'mores before? I was using those speculoos cookies instead of the graham crackers, and they were coming out awesome. <sighs> now we're talking about s'mores or the vegan uh, s'mores. Girl Scout cookies for the actual graham cracker with the dandies You're and crazy. the chocolate. You're crazy. Get out of here. All right, how about this? Two. We'll, we'll get back to that. <laughs> <laughs> Two Justin's peanut butter cups. You've done it. I've I did. Seen it. You do I it. did. I've I did. Seen it. I was there. But now Justin's has cashew butter cups and almond butter cups, and they're delicious. Are we? Oh, you already tasted those for a video, huh? I did. Maybe you should do a video with me tasting them. Well, I have two more packs, so maybe we can come over here and make it happen. Watch John eat every peanut butter cup. That I own. That Chris owns. <laughs> it's happened before. Okay. All right, so this is the other piece of chocolate. Little Trader Joe's. It says Trader Joe's right on it. Trader Joe's. You traitor, Joe. I feel like this would be perfect with one of these brownie bites. That's chocolate and chocolate and chocolate and chocolate, though. Your cat is eating all the chorizo. Oh, she's such a scavenger. Kitty. Anyway. Whatever. The chocolate is good. I know a lot of vegan chocolate is very dark, and this tastes more on the milk chocolatey spectrum. I like, to, I like my chocolate to be either room temperature or kind of melted. That's the best than just eating it cold because then it doesn't really taste as good. So I'm like, I like to like it melt in my mouth. Mouth. It's Not, funny that you say that because when you when you bite into that, it kind of melts in your mouth at this, at yeah, this temperature. That's yeah. I like that. That's a good texture it of is. a chocolate. And it's also perfect if you you know just maybe you want to dip, dip it, it in, in some peanut, peanut butter. butter. <laughs> yep. 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 Um, what was your favorite out of these products? I, probably the brownie crisp because I got really excited about making s'mores. That's all I can think about right now. The brownie crisp are def they're good. I will definitely buy these again. Probably the chocolate again. I don't think I would buy these again. Although it's not bad. It's just for the price. You get two burgers. They're not great. Um, the the little nuggets, the, the orange nuggets, those are pretty good, and mm -hmm. they're I think they're cheaper than Gardein. the Gardein ones. And then obviously this. I'll buy this every time I'm out of it. I'll buy it. Um, the chorizo, I, I like the chorizo. Yeah. That'd be a good for you know making dinner for people. Mm -hmm. And these are really good, but I don't know if I would. I guess if I if it was a party and I had them for hors d'oeuvres, I don't know if I would like eat all of these myself. Yeah, but um, those are some new products at Trader Joe. Yeah, they're they're uh, they're doing it. Thanks they for making all the it. vegan food. Trader and that's Joe. the other thing I like. I like that they're starting to label a lot of their products vegan. They do have some other products that aren't labeled vegan that are vegan, but I like that they have them vegan on there. The only thing that confuses me about that is, you know, if Wegmans or somebody has a vegan label on everything and then they don't have a vegan label, am I right. to assume that that product is not vegan? Yeah, that's what I think. And you know what? I think for some of it, it might mean that, you know, it, it may be vegan, but it might be processed in the same facility. Is and they're not things, taking their chances. Right. Kind of like Justin. Right. Right. Okay. Right. All right. Which, if that is the case, then they are still vegan. It's just they're they're not considering it because of the the possible aller allergen can, you know, cross contamination. Right. Um, it's almost impossible to find things. You know, if you're going to exclusive. Gonna, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can buy from all of vegan companies if you wanted. You know, or go to your local farmers market or something like that. It's good to know. My cat's about to uh, invade. The counter space so and the best way to find out for sure is simply contact the company either through an email or call them I've been doing a lot of that lately and finding out some pretty interesting things we have a kitty right there by the camera you guys can't see it but we we can see the kitty we hope you like this video let us know below what else you want to see us taste test for you for your convenience and don't forget to like this video and Make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you do get notifications. You don't miss any of our interesting videos. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys. Bye.